the role of the state uh, is enormously important in the development of philanthropy because philanthropy developed initially because of a strong view on the part of philanthropists that the state was weak and the state ought to be weak and the private sector ought to do what it could do to respond to major social and economic challenges in the country so that the state didn't have to grow. There are certain things that the private economy doesn't do very well or won't produce because um, people can't figure out how to make a profit on it. And there are things that government won't do because there's not enough of a consensus to fund something across the board, which is what government needs. It needs basically kind of a majority consensus to, to go forward with programs. And lots of, lots of uh, social needs you know, kind of fall in the cracks. Not everybody can take care of herself. Uh, and uh, I think the state has a responsibility to help where that, that is the case. It's what you know, we call in modern days a safety net. And I think it's pretty important that there should be. Uh, a safety net. Same time, I think most of us would agree, we don't want to destroy incentives for pri in private individuals to do their own thing and to profit by it. Uh, the country works very successfully on a capitalist system. You know, I think it's fair to say that you know the government plays an important role in some of our solutions to market failures, such as you know poverty, uh, education, uh, homelessness. Uh, the need for uh, better uh, educational systems, better um, uh, welfare reform and so on. But at the same time, I think it's also fair to say that most people don't think that the government has found the solution to most of those same ailments. And that the nonprofit sector, I think, provides a more nimble, responsive, creative outlet for that. I think philanthropy is, uh, is trying its best to, you know, to look at uh, what it can do to address some of the very uh, severe and increasing social needs that, that we're seeing as a, as a result of the decline in the economy and the uh, job layoffs and um, government being uh, overstretched, uh, particularly at the state and local level, to do what it can to help people out. We think uh, foundation dollars are, are best viewed as partially public dollars given the immense tax, uh, preferential tax treatment that, um, that they receive. Uh, donors, of course, get tax exemptions when they first uh, give money to their foundation to establish the foundation. And then the corpus is allowed to grow essentially exempt from taxation uh, over the years uh, with very few requirements placed on, on foundations. And so uh, the public is really partners with donors and foundations uh, in pursuing the public uh, pursuing the public good, and so that's why we use the the terminology partially public dollars. But the government as a whole is fairly large and bureaucratic and can't be as uh, adept, adroit, responsive, whatever word you want to use, uh, as can uh, the nonprofit sector through funding from, in part, the government, but also in part through individuals, corporations, and foundations, the private philanthropy piece plays a very important role in our ability to experiment uh, and look at things from a broader perspective, but also from a different perspective than we can through government policy. You know, there's a real danger that uh, foundations will be asked to step in to provide services that the government has stopped providing for their citizens, and that's really not a role we think philanthropy ought to be asked to play or, or ought to play. Um, philanthropic resources are dwarfed by government spending, um, and, uh, and especially when you're talking about um, uh, grants given by institutional grant makers. This debate is very much um, on everybody's mind, of course. Um, and. Uh, not only in this country, but also in Europe, with the crisis of the welfare state. And people are pushing philanthropic solutions as alternatives, which I've been telling everybody who is willing to listen that those shouldn't be thought of as alternatives. Um, 
uh, uh, because, again, to repeat, the states and, and civil society do not operate on the same budgetary scale at all. Ongoing funding for parks has been a theme in this city and all cities for many, many years. And as you know, far back as 39 years ago, they realized that they needed some additional support besides public money. But I can tell you that philanthropy can add a lot, but it can't substitute for that. We're still having the same debate about the role of the state. And as I say, this should come as a surprise to no one. This tension will never fully disappear. Uh, uh, but it's extremely important to, to me, just for the sheer creativity, uh, the need for creativity and the need for investment of the citizenry into the public good to maintain these two sectors uh, together.